All right, everybody, let's jump right in. So it's Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Right. And we're doing things a little differently this time, going behind the scenes to see what a cybersecurity analyst actually does all day. Sounds intriguing. Yeah, so we're taking a look at this article from Gwinnett County, Georgia. They're putting a spotlight on one of their cybersecurity analysts, a guy named Gabriel. And full disclosure, it's a little promotional. You know how these things go. Sure, sure. But there's some real gold hidden in here if you know where to look. Some real insights into the actual day-to-day of this kind of job. I'm all ears. So Gwinnett County... They're handling a ton of sensitive data, right? We're talking resident information, business records, the whole nine yards. Makes sense. That's a lot of responsibility. Absolutely. It makes them a prime target for cyber attacks, which is exactly why they need someone like Gabriel on the front lines. And one thing that really jumped out at me in this article was this phrase, forensic malware analysis. I mean, come on. That sounds like something straight out of a movie. It does have a certain ring to it. What exactly does that entail? Right. So it's essentially digital detective work. When some nasty malware gets into a system, Gabriel's the one who has to dissect it, figure out what makes it tick. I see. We're talking figuring out its purpose, how it spreads, think like a virus, but in the digital world, and most importantly, how to stop it dead in its tracks. So it's not just about fixing the current problem. It's about preventing future attacks. Exactly. And it's not a solo mission either. Gabriel talks about how his team keeps each other accountable, which... In a high-stakes field like cybersecurity, that's got to be crucial. Absolutely. Cybersecurity is rarely, if ever, a one-person job. Mm -hmm. You're safeguarding crucial information. And when Gabriel's team shares knowledge, collaborates, they create this united front against these attacks. Right. Sense. That constant communication, it's vital for staying ahead of the curve. Because believe me, the bad guys, they're always trying to find new ways in. Oh, for sure. And speaking of bad guys, the article also gets into some specific threats that Gabriel and his team are up against. Things like data breaches and those annoying phishing attempts we all love to hate. Oh, yes. Phishing. I mean, who hasn't seen those suspicious emails promising the world or threatening disaster unless you click this link or download that file? Right. And this is where cybersecurity really hits home for everyone. It's not just about ones and zeros. It's about real-world consequences. Mm -hmm. And the human element, unfortunately, is often the weakest link. I'm sure you've been tempted by a phishing email before, haven't you? I know I have. (laughs) Oh, absolutely. They can be incredibly sneaky. But anyway, back to Gabriel. So his work in threat intelligence directly ties into combating these phishing attacks. But what exactly is threat intelligence? It sounds like, well, more involved than just knowing about threats. It is. It's about actively gathering data on cyber criminal tactics. Think of it like piecing together a puzzle. You're identifying patterns, then using that knowledge to predict and hopefully block attacks before they even reach your inbox. So like anticipating the next move. Exactly. But even with the best defenses, there's always that human element. Like we were saying, we click on that wrong link, download that infected file, and boom, all those defenses can be bypassed in an instant. Right, right. It makes Gabriel's work and really cybersecurity in general seem even more important. It is. Because every time we see a news story about a data breach, there are real people behind it. You yeah. Know? Their identities, their finances, their personal information, everything digital they have is vulnerable. It's a good reminder for all of us to be more vigilant about our own digital security. Couldn't agree more. So as we wrap things up here, it's clear that cybersecurity is an ever-evolving field. With dedicated individuals like Gabriel working tirelessly behind the scenes to keep our digital lives safe. For sure. It makes you think. How are we contributing to the solution, even in small ways, by being more aware of our own digital footprint? That's something to think about. 